Make It Happen with Mel Robbins online, Healthy Living with a Twist, Series 114. Peter is calling in. All right, Peter. I'm lining them up and knocking them down, and you're next. What's going on? How are you doing, Mel? Well, you can tell it's irritated. Yeah, I, I, I can tell. So I may be a little nervous because you're irritated. Why? Well, you seem like a very strong and powerful and, and like beautiful woman on on the on the internet your website and being the fact that if you're a man and scratching floors with your bed you know it's just a little nervous okay then i'll, I'll calm down a so that you can tell me what is what is it that you want me to channel my anger towards to have you get what you want in your life okay uh, <clears throat> well don't channel it towards me but, um, <laughs> Probably my, my biggest problem uh, uh, being being an actor. Um, years ago, uh, on the internet, uh, before the internet, actually, uh, it's, a, it's a picture business, eight by ten, send your resume yep. to agents. And now with the with the internet, what's your website? Excuse me. Do you have a website? Uh, yes, I do. What is it? Uh, uh, www.peteraustinoto.com. Okay. Which is a P E T E R A U S T I N N O T O dot com. Okay. And it's still a picture business, putting your stamps on, sending them out. But now with the internet and websites and a lot of casting people having their sites online, it's twofold. So it's good because there's more work, but it also gives you more work to get more work. So sometimes I find myself spending so much time on the computer looking at casting sites. It's, I don't know. It, it, it's just been so long doing it one way. Now there's another way of doing it. Are you successful at doing it online? What's that? Are you successful at finding jobs online for, I, I, for acting? Absolutely. In fact, uh, having... So what's the problem? Sometimes I feel I'm sitting in a chair looking at the computer too much. I, I don't know how bad of a problem that is, but it isn't because you're getting work. I don't. I don't know what the what. I mean, unless you can hire somebody to do that for you. Actually, I've always treated them uh, with my wife that I wish there was two of me. One, one to do this, the other one to do, to do the other. I wish, I, I wish I had about five of me. I'd be so much more productive. But I still. So here's here's the thing. I don't understand what your problem is. You're working. You're you're you've you've transitioned very well to the new technology in terms of the internet being the way that people are sourcing talent. What's your problem? You're you're. Other than sitting at the computer too much and, and looking at the screen and being frustrated by that. Yeah, I don't know if I call it like, you know, quote unquote problem, problem, but I just, um, like today, I mean, it's actually, and everything works in reverse in a way. I mean, the fact that um, a little while ago I was able to contact uh, uh, your show through the internet, I mean, it's great because I'm having the pleasure to, to, to speak with you this morning and actually. Uh, uh, realizing that there's, there's a, a, a form here almost as if it was um, old time TV and people are calling in and they're used to calling into your show and uh, using the, this as a, as a daily um, a daily fixture or a daily way of, 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 of getting input. Um, so it's, it's actually it's a wonderful thing. Wonderful thing. I, I, may, I don't know, maybe I'm being lazy because I don't want to work twice as hard. But, um, I mean, it's, it's an amazing tool. So I still don't know, what is it that you want me to do to help you? Because you sound just fine to me, other than being tired. Oh, it, it is 9 o'clock in the morning, that's cool. <laughs> but, uh, uh, no, not too tired, not too tired. Um, it would really be basically uh, breaking it down to, um, What's the best juggling way of, of, of delegating my day's work? Because as an actor, <clears throat> show business is a business. And if you're not in the middle of doing something and then it kind of stops, well, then you kind of also have to be a little self-generating. You'll have 
uh, agents and whatnot helping you, but, you know, if you sit and wait for a phone call, you'll sit and wait for a phone call. Um, so I guess it'd be the delegating of now that the Internet is very much coming into fashion. Okay, so Here, here's the thing. I suspect that what's going on, because the data points that I have so far from you are that you've been working as an actor for a long time. You've gone from sending out headshots and doing it the old-fashioned way to really utilizing the Internet, and you've been doing it successfully because you're gainfully employed and you're working steadily. Right. You're calling in to ask me how to better use your time. I think the problem isn't time management. I think the problem is that there's some sort of internal resentment or resist resistance to the fact that you're still having to, at this stage in your career, look for work rather than having a steady gig somewhere. And so when you sit down at the computer and you start having to do all the things that you do in order to push yourself, promote yourself, reach out to agents, what's brewing inside you is a bit of resentment that this is what you have to do anyway. Mm, you know, maybe deep down the hills of the, the back of my mind, maybe, but I, I don't really get, no, I, you know, I don't have that uh, anger towards the business, you know, like the angry actor. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, like, um, I think it was uh, Sean, your producer, I was speaking with, and she was asking exactly what I want in the show business. And I was telling her that, like, being a host, because I've done the hosting in the past, uh, um, I'm not trying to plug John, the John King show, which was a, a local cable uh, yeah. uh, New York show, and he also yeah. had some affiliates uh, throughout the country. And I had a run with him for about five years. I was his co So is that what you want to do? You want to be a host? You know, actually, yeah. You know, <laughs> like... Uh, it, are, you, are, are those the kind of gigs you're going after? You know, to say that I actually go out and pursue it? Uh, no. Okay, there's the problem. You actually, you actually have a point there. How do I become co-host of your show? <laughs> My show? I'm not, I'm not hiring. <laughs> not yet. Besides, I'm too pissed off today. You wouldn't want to work with me. But, I, but, but I, I <laughs> just don't yell at me. <laughs> so that, that's the problem. You just said I have a point there. So what did you say? Uh, I would have to pursue the avenues of the, the areas which we're hosting, getting on TV shows, being a, a host, a co-host, a commentator, a newscaster, those sort of avenues. Yes, and you have a real five years' worth in order to build upon it. <clears throat> your, your issue is not time management. Your issue is you're not spending your time trying to find the type of gig that you want. Right. You see, I, I, see, I also do a facet of, like, every... You know, I'm basically an entertainer. An entertainer uh, consists of a lot of things. Um, so I do get a lot of excitement out of all the different possibilities as an actor doing television yeah, work. Yeah, but you could, be, you could be an entertaining host. And if that's what you really want to do, you need to put your energy into making that happen. It's that simple. Yeah, you, you do have a point, because uh, when John uh, John King did have a show, unfortunately John got a little ill with John. Okay, hold on, there you go. There's that cheesy music, sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> you know, you've been a host. That's our cue. That's our cue that you should hold on, because uh, we're talking about using anger to fuel change in your life. And I've got Catherine, who's dieting, and Darlene on the phone, and I need to talk to them, too. So don't go anywhere. You're listening to Make It Happen with Mel Robbins on Lime Healthy Living with the Twist. Peter, I expect you to be a host.